Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing Dilly Slimes Company. This is a subscriber slime shop and they did send me a decent amount of slime, so I'm going to split this into two parts. I hope that's okay. But in this one you'll see all the unpackaging and stuff. Everything came wonderfully packaged, nothing cracked or leaked. And as always, if you want to check out this slime shop, I will leave it in a link down in the description. Besides the slimes, I was also sent this slime care card. I like the like the way that the details look on the back. And and then I was sent activator both in liquid and powder form and then here are all the slimes they do come in different size containers but for the most part they are all consistent except for the one that doesn't have like the plastic wrap on it and here are the slimes that I'll be reviewing in part one these first four are part of their stocking stuffers pack and then there's that other slime that I will be reviewing they all come in these clear screw top lid containers and one of them has their slime shop logo on the top but they all have the slime name on the side Starting with the first slime from the stocking stuffers pack, this is pineapple fluff. It is a fluffy yellow cloud slime that is scented pineapple candy. I will say to me the scent is pretty weak. I had to get pretty close to the slime in order to smell it and even then I could still smell some of the glue. So I would recommend maybe making it a little bit stronger. That's kind of a tricky area because some people do like weaker scents so it's not like a big deal. I don't take off points for it. It's just something that I like to note <laughs> but it is a really good smell. It smells like sweet sweet pineapple so pretty much what it's described as. The slime does initially have a wet feel to it but that does go away as you play with it. It feels cold as well. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that it felt wet but it's a nice cooling feel on my hands as I play with it. The slime itself is fluffy like described. It's soft and it has pretty consistent drizzles. I always mention when I play with cloud slimes that I suck with drizzling slime. I just can't do it. It's just doesn't doesn't work very well for me and on top of that where I have my lights placed it's really hard to like get my hands above the phone so that I can drizzle without hitting the lights or the phone stand and stuff so it's just a huge mess and I hope at some point I'll be able to fix that but that's okay I mean the slime does kind of clump every once in a while as you drizzle it but that really could be on the fact that I just don't know how to drizzle because I've gotten some pretty good drizzles out of this. There's minimal snow residue or fallout which is amazing I love the color to it. It's like perfect. I'm not a yellow person. Like I really dislike yellow, but this one is a really nice color and definitely reminds me of pineapple. And because the slime is just like slightly wet, it has some sizzles to it, which I really enjoy. I'm going to give this slime five out of five pajamas. The next slime in this pack is Forest Fizz. This is a green snow fizz slime that is scented green apple high chew and it comes with forest and mushroom femos and a small frog charm. To me, this slime smells like green apple candy mixed with green apple shampoo, which I seem to get a lot when I have green apple or apple scented slimes. It just smells kind of like shampoo to me, which is not a complaint. I actually really enjoy that smell. It smells very fresh and kind of reminiscent because, you know, when I was a kid, I used to use fruity shampoo like I feel like a lot of people did. So it's nostalgic and it smells good. The add-ins are absolutely adorable and with that green color I feel like this whole thing is just perfectly tied together and definitely reminds me of a forest. I love when slime themes are just like nailed perfectly like that's amazing and mixed with the fact that I just love this texture. I always say that when I get snow fizzes from like smaller slime shops or new slime shops I always like them more than like famous slime shops because there's just something about them that just feels better to me like they feel Feel smoother and like crunchier somehow I don't know what it is maybe it's like my brain tricking me at this point but like they always seem to be better and this slime is definitely one that I wish I had more of like if I got this pack and it was just like just wanting to try out some of the slimes that this shop has this is one that I would get more of like I said the crunches are really good and it's non tacky which is amazing for a snow fizz slime it's also very holdable and also very moldable like I was just kind of like shaping this and it kept its shape which is kind of satisfying and I just really enjoyed playing with this one overall and this one is getting five out of five pajamas
The third slime in this pack is Watermelon Fluff. Like the first one, this is a fluffy cloud slime, but it's pink this time and obviously watermelon themed. It comes with black glitters to represent the seeds in watermelon and it is scented watermelon candy and it also comes with a watermelon charm. The slime smells exactly as described, just like watermelon candy, which usually I'm not a fan of. I just don't like those types of candy type of scents. They just don't vibe well with me. And like in general, I'm just not a fan of like Jolly Ranchers and stuff. And that's usually what it smells like. So I, that's probably why I don't like it. But this one actually smells good. I don't know what's different about it, but it just smells better to me. I love the black glitter detail. It just adds an extra like oomph to the slime and just makes it more enjoyable to like look at. And obviously it reminds me more of watermelon. And I don't really have much else to say about this one because it is pretty much just like the pineapple fluff one. I would say I found this one to be creamier and kind of softer but it's pretty much the exact same. It doesn't have pretty much any snow fallout or residue or anything. It has those consistent drizzles as long as I can achieve them because I suck, but other than that, it's still just as good as the pineapple one. The only thing that I would say, and it has nothing to do with the slimes themselves, is if you're going to do like a stocking stuffer pack or whatever, I think that a lot of people are going for those so that they can try different textures because they're just unsure of what to go for. I would recommend not doing two cloud slimes or even doing two different types of like cloud slime recipes maybe if you want to do it that way, just so that out of the four slimes, your customers aren't getting two of the exact same type. Anyways, this slime does get 5 out of 5 pajamas. The last slime for this stocking stuffer pack is happy face or smiley face or like whatever you're seeing on the screen. <laughs> That is what it's called, but this is a clear crunch bomb slime that comes with a happy face charm and it is unscented. The first thing that I want to say is that I'm a huge fan of the concept of this one. I already have a soft spot for crunch bomb slimes. They're one of my favorite, if not my favorite slime texture, so I always like playing with them. And I like the idea of this one where it's like the name of the slime is just a smiley face and it's got all these smiley face add-ins and stuff like that is so cute and they all look good together and I haven't really seen a crunch bomb slime that has like a theme like this one so I like the uniqueness as well. So obviously it's a crunch bomb slime. It has really good crunches to it and what I really liked about this one is that it was easy on my hands because most of the add-ins are rounded so it wasn't like tearing up my hands as I played with it. I don't have the most sensitive hands in the world but they can be from time to time and I know it sucks if you want to play with a certain slime but you know that you can't play with it or can't play with it a lot because it just tears up your hands. So if you've been wanting to try a crunch bomb and you're kind of scared that it might like hurt your hands this one would be a perfect option. There were two things that I wanted to touch on. One is that there's like a flatter smiley face add-in in here that didn't like to stay in the slime. I don't know if you want to keep it, but it just kind of fell out from time to time. The other thing is that the slime does leave big chunks of slime residue on my hands. Normally, I don't touch on that because like it's a crunch bomb slime. It's probably going to do that. And I don't like offering like to make the slime coated as a solution all the time because regular clear slimes can exist just fine. But I would recommend coating it for this specific slime just because it does leave a decent amount of slime on my hands. Because of that, this one is getting 4.8 out of 5 pajamas. Moving on from those slimes, the last slime for this part one review is strawberry milk. This is a thick and glossy slime that is lightly scented sweet strawberry milk. It comes with large strawberry femos and a milk carton charm. This slime is another one that smells exactly as described. It's sweet, it smells like strawberry, and I mean, you can't really smell milk, like, a lot. It's a weird type of smell to smell, but like the milk scent gives the scent overall like a creamier scent to it and it's so hard to describe but that's the best I'm going to be able to do but it smells amazing and so sweet and I haven't gotten a strawberry slime that smells like this in forever and I miss it. I love the add-ins especially the charm that has got to be one of my most favorite charms that I've ever gotten in a slime because it is adorable. Plus the slime itself just looks amazing like I love everything about it and the texture is immaculate. Like when I first touched it that was the word that came to my head and I just couldn't get it out. It was like 
perfect spot on like the slime is so glossy and thick and it just feels so good <laughs> i am not a fan of thick and glossies very much i just get really bored with them and i don't like the way they feel after i've played with them for a while but this one feels so nice even after it inflates like it gets fluffy and it's got so many crunches to it and i just enjoyed this one all the way through i would say that this slime is pretty thick but it's also really stretchy which usually with thick and glossy slimes you either get one or the other but this one you get both like i don't know what's in this slime but like it's incredible this slime also has loud pokes and it keeps its shape which is amazing and usually I don't like the fluffy feel that thick and glossy slimes get as you inflate them but this one feels different. It like kind of softer and just works better for some reason. Of course this slime is getting 5 out of 5 pajamas. And with that, that is the end of this review, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I mentioned, this is only part one, so of course stay tuned for part two that will be coming out next week. If you want to check out this shop, the link to it will be in the description down below. And if you have a slime shop or business or whatever that you want me to review, my email is also linked down below. I do not charge for reviews. All you got to do is send the package. Now I am signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one.